Hey everyone, David here from Brilliant Directories. In this video, I'll be giving you a quick walkthrough of the admin dashboard that's used to manage all of the websites that utilize the Brilliant Directories platform. Now there's a lot of built-in features here, so I'll just be giving you a brief overview of the admin, but if you'd like to see more in-depth videos and video tutorials, then feel free to head on over to our free support center at bootstrap.brilliantdirectories.com. You'll find a lot of organized documentation as well as videos, okay? So let's jump right on into this. Right now we are logged in to the admin. Once you have your account set up and going, you'll just need to go to managemydirectory.com, log in with whatever your login is for your website, and you'll be brought right to this page uh, in your admin. This is the dashboard. Up here at the top are some of the key information that you may want to know right from a glance as soon as you log in. So we have the total amount of registered members on the website, how many members have registered within the last seven days, how many new leads the website has generated, which we'll go into a little bit more detail later on, as well as total net revenue. There's a few quick links down here, um, but over here on the left-hand side is the main menu for the admin. So right now under dashboard, we are currently at the dashboard. You can visit your website directly from this submenu, and website activity will show you the activity within the back end of the website for the last 30 days. So in here will show up new member signups, upgrades, member leads, contact form submissions, website edits, everything like that. You'll be able to see the entire website history within the last 30 days. So under members, search members is where you will be able to see all of the members who have registered on your website. You can search for members based on several features. You can also log in as one of your members if for some reason they've uploaded something that you need to edit or take down. You can see what level they've signed up under when they've joined their last login as well as their status, their email address, everything. And then of course you can manage all of these members right from here as well. You can delete them. You can add new members. Under membership levels, this is where you'll manage all of the membership levels for your website. So for this website, we have three set up, basic, featured, and premium. You can see the features that we have set up for each membership level. The prices, so the monthly price, the yearly price, and how much this member would pay per lead. We have the limits that are set up for these levels. So in this case, the premium level has a search priority of one. The members can sort themselves into a maximum of 10 categories and they can have three locations. You can also add a new membership level right from here by clicking this green button in the upper right hand corner. Under member features, this is all of the features that are available to your members. So we have the ability to post listings, add to favorites, add videos, create uh, events, coupons, classified ads, and then you can edit them right from here as well. You can delete them, or you can also add new features by, again, clicking the screen button in the upper right-hand corner. An excellent and really handy feature is the ability to import members. Now we already have a video on this, as well as many other features within this Admin, just be sure to check out our support center, click around the website a little bit more uh, to find some of these more in-depth videos. But to import members, you just need a CSV file. You upload that file, and assuming the formatting is correct, you'll have to check with our support documentation, make sure that, that the formatting is correct so that our system can read it. Once you upload it and import it, uh, all your members should be imported along with their email addresses, their location, all of that data. Under member images is where you'll be able to find all of the images that your members have uploaded. So you can uh, resize them, you can delete them, you can delete unused images, which is a very, very nice and handy feature for saving some storage on your website. Brilliant Directories also comes with complete email management. So under the email section of this menu, we can go to form inquiries. This is where all of the inquiries will be sorted into once somebody has filled out a form on your website. So uh, if somebody fills out a contact form on your website, that inquiry will come right into this section here. This is essentially your inbox. So you can read the full inquiry, you can reply to it, and then at a glance, you can see what the inquiry is, the email and the phone number, as well as what form the inquiry came in from. So in this case, it came in from cancellation. You can also change the label from new, or you can archive specific inquiries to keep them. And under search contacts, this is essentially where you would manage all of the contacts that you have saved that you want to manage for your emailing purposes. 
So right now we don't have any contacts in here, but you can easily import contacts again by clicking this blue button right here, or you could add new contacts by clicking the green button. And we will get to the unsubscribe list in just a moment under contact tags. This is an incredibly useful feature. Essentially when somebody submits a specific type of form on your website, they will be tagged according to that form. So for example, if somebody submits um, an inquiry from your contact form, they'll be tagged as a contact submitter. If somebody submits a lead form, they'll be tagged as a lead submitter. And if somebody registers for your newsletter from your newsletter form, they'll be tagged as a newsletter subscriber. So this makes it really easy to send out blasts of emails to specific groups. For example, if you want to send out an email only to your newsletter subscribers, you can do so by sending it out to those who have been tagged newsletter subscribers or people who have submitted leads on your website. If you want to follow up on those leads and send out a generic email to all of them, you can send it to the ones who are tagged lead submitters. Email templates. This is where you'll find the 45 pre-made and pre-installed email templates that Brilliant Directories comes with. We have virtually every type of uh, email template that you could possibly need. We have um, pre-made account activated templates. So when a member activates their account, they'll automatically be sent this email. If there's a billing error, if um, a member's credit card doesn't go through, if it's declined, they'll get the billing error email template. And of course you can customize all of these built-in pre-made templates. You can preview them. You can send them as a test to yourself to see what they would look like. And you can also create brand new email templates uh, completely from scratch if you'd like to do so by clicking this green button up here. And on the unsubscribe list, when somebody unsubscribes from your emails, their email address will automatically be added into this section. So you'll be able to view who has unsubscribed from your website. You'll be able to see when they unsubscribed. And by automatically moving those emails into the unsubscribe list, any emails that you send out in the future will not be sent to them. You can also add um, emails manually to this list by clicking this green button up here. Under content, we can add a new web page. This is an incredibly simple, intuitive page builder. You add the page title up here, subtitle. You can choose your own permalink structure. You add the content right into here. Alternatively, you can also create the web pages uh, from scratch in HTML by viewing the source code and then editing the source code in this window here. We have tons of built-in um, SEO tools that you can utilize to help optimize your web pages. You can also include custom CSS as well as head tags. Really great for completely customizing your web pages. You can also edit current web pages. So here we have 10 web pages that are currently live on the site. You can see the URL. If you click on it, it'll take you right to the page. You can also alternatively click this green view button to be taken to the page. You can edit the pages from here. You can copy pages as well as delete them right from here. Under member content is where you will find all of the content that your members have created for your website. So right here we have nine classified ads that have been created by our website members. We can also go to articles and you'll see the nine articles that have been uh, created on our website from our members. This is really great creating new content, keeping our website fresh and alive. This also helps with SEO. So it's nice that you can view, edit all of these right from one place. Under member reviews is where you'll find all of the most recent reviews that have been posted about your members. So for example, right here for Pet Food Express, we have a review of five out of five. Here's the review title, the content of the review when it was uh, posted, who it was posted by, as well as their email address. You can view the review live by clicking the orange button. You can see all of the members' reviews by clicking the blue button, or you could delete the review right from here by clicking this del red delete button. Under custom SEO settings or some more SEO settings uh, for your entire website. You can also add new settings if you would like. Now under leads, if we go to new leads, uh, any new leads that have been submitted to your website will be filtered right into this section here. Being able to manage and sell leads to your members is a great feature that Brilliant Directories comes with. It can really help to boost your revenue and it's an incredibly easy process. Under here in follow up leads, you'll be able to manage the follow up leads. Matched leads are leads that have already been matched to your current members. 
and then closed leads are leads that are no longer available. And on all of these pages, you can add a new lead manually by clicking the screen button. Under finance, if we go to payment gateways, you can set up virtually any gateway that you feel most comfortable with or that you already have an account for. You'll be able to seamlessly integrate with your Brilliant Directory's website. So you can add a new gateway and use that to manage all of your member payments, your lead sales, everything. You can also manage banner ads. Now to do this, it brings you to the pre-made widgets for banner ads. You can customize all of these. You can uh, add in your AdSense code or AdMob. You can create custom banners. If you have an advertiser that comes to you directly and you want to use their specific image, you can do that. A lot of versatility here with being able to customize uh, all of this. So in Toolbox, we have the Widget Manager. Now essentially, every element on your website is its own widget. This makes it very easy to edit and customize. So the header is its own widget. The main menu, the sidebar, each element within the sidebar, they're all their own widgets. So you'll know exactly what widget you need to edit for the specific change that you want to make. So the sidebar manager is incredibly simple. You select which sidebar you want to edit. And it's a simple drag and drop user interface. You can also add a new sidebar by clicking this green button right up here. Menu manager is the same thing. You select which menu it is you want to edit or you can create a new one. And then once you're in here, you can create a new link. And then once you have your link set up, you can drag and drop to reorder them as well as to create sub menus and drop down menus. Incredibly intuitive system. Form manager is similar. We'll select what form it is we want to edit or we can create a new form by clicking the green button. And then right here we have all of the fields for this given form. We can add a new field or we can edit the current fields. We can choose whether or not fields are required, whether or not to display them. We can drag and drop to reorder the form or the fields. Our mission here is to make this as simple and intuitive as possible. Main categories are the top level categories that your members can register under. So for this example, we have 22 top level categories. Right here in this column, you'll see the top level category name. You can change the slug name or the, the URL. So for example, if you go to uh, directory.com slash active life, it will take you to all of the members who are registered under the active life category. And then you can also manage what order they appear in um, right through this column right here. Subcategories are similar, but these are sorted underneath those main top level categories. So for example, the accessories sub level category falls under the shopping parent category. Under settings is where you'll be able to customize your website. So general settings is just the general settings of the website, the industry name, the website name, the default website email address, brand images. So your favicon, your website logo, um, default member profile photo, Social media is where you can import all of your social media links and these will show up throughout the website as well as in the footer or anywhere else you would like to place them. Configuration is just some simple configuration settings. Design settings is where you'll be able to customize the look and feel of your website. Again, we tried really hard to make this as intuitive as possible. So you can change all of the colors on your website, the fonts, the font sizes. And you do that by just this simple menu right here. You can choose what colors you want, uh, what fonts you'd like to use, the font sizes. Um, you can do this for every aspect of your website. Under the home page layout, we have the search settings. So you can change that main home page hero image right from here. Again, you can change the font, the font size, the color, uh, the text that shows up. The homepage slideshow where you can upload your own images, you can enable specific slides, you can choose the transition duration, what effect to use for the transition. We also have pre-made color sets that you can choose from. And then of course under custom at CSS and head, you can import your own custom CSS and head elements. Text labels is just some further customization that you can go through and edit. Keyword searches have to do with the auto-suggest settings. 
So you can choose which module these auto suggest settings link to. You can add new auto suggest rules by clicking the green button again, right up here in the upper right. We can go to image settings to manage the um, default dimensions of specific images, the file paths, all that sort of stuff. And then country settings is where you can go to set up your website specifically for whatever country it is that you're doing business in. All right, so that was a quick overview of the admin dashboard that comes with your Brilliant Directories website. This is what you'll be using to completely manage your entire website that's set up with Brilliant Directories. There's a lot of built-in features, a lot of useful features, so I do recommend going through our support center. It's free. You don't need to log in. You can go to bootstrap.brilliantdirectories.com to access all of our support documentation as well as video tutorials. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Hope it gave you a better understanding of what it is you'll be getting with the Brilliant Directories platform, how you'll be managing your website. If you'd like to play around with this admin yourself, or if you'd like to follow along with this video or any other video tutorials before you actually have an account with us, you can do so by signing up for our free 14 day demo. You don't need a credit card. You can click on any of the demo buttons throughout our website, or you can go to brilliantdirectories.com slash free trial, put in your email address, and then immediately you will be emailed the information for how to access your very own demo that you can play around with and edit to make sure that Brilliant Directories fits your needs. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.